Hi all, this is Kamal Eldas, representing Codenters, a team of full stack developers and security analysts. First of all, thank you all for the love and support that you have been showering throughout this entire playlist and I believe that this playlist is helping each one of you uh, for the hackathon journey and I thought why don't we summarize all the do's and don'ts with respect to each and every video that we have made so far and we are going to segregate this video into three parts before the hackathon, after the hackathon and during the hackathon. So let's start with uh, before the hackathon straight away. and. Uh, before getting into the process of the Smart India Hackathon, first of all, all the best to each and everyone who are partaking in Smart India Hackathon 2023. And uh, the first part, the problem statement selection and the team uh, formation. In the team formation, the most crucial part is the team leader. You need to have a wise team leader, a person who manages the entire team, a person who treats the team like a leader and not like a boss. That is very crucial. And due, with respect to the team formation, we need to have a diverse and stable team. If you have a diverse team and a stable team with the same vision, it's the hackathon is half one already and that's where we stand. And a mistake which most of them do is selecting a complicated problem statement. A uh, problem statement, it may look something too advanced and something of a solution which you can provide, but you're not sure if you can provide. I would guide you that you better don't take that problem statement. If you are able to complete the problem statement and give a proper solution, only then take the problem. And uh, that is what you have to do until selecting the problem statement. After problem statement selection, what's it? Do the market research. Most of the teams fail here because without knowing the competitors and you providing a solution, it's not going to be worth it because that's a possibility that you might be providing a solution and that solution already exists and that won't add value to it, right? Until you do a market research and do a competitive analysis, you will only then come to know what are all the existing things and what all are not there in the existing products and that you can capitalize in your product. And working without a plan is a major drawback. Because uh, getting a product idea and immediately working on it without having a proper brainstorming and setting milestones of the project is another major drawback and a major don't. And there's a, there was a question which was raised more frequently. What skills are needed for partaking in Smart India Hackathon? To be honest, there is nothing called you have to have a predefined skill for partaking in a hackathon. You will learn it on the flow. It's not that if I have a web development skill, if I have an app development skill, only then I can partake in the hackathon. It's nothing like that. It's a journey which on the flow you can learn. And uh, internal hackathon, preparing for that, uh, take it also as an important perspective because it is a pre-preparation of your grand finale. So I think it's like most of the colleges have the internal hackathon completed by now. And uh, congratulations for the team again who got shortlisted there. And for the team who didn't get shortlisted, try it next time. Learn what are your mistakes. That, or, that is what I would like to say. And next comes the winning PPT and getting shortlisted to the finale. Here are the major do's and don'ts and there have been a lot of questions stating that can I add an extra slide, can I add an extra section and stuff like that. No, that is the major way of getting eliminated without even seeing your idea because it has already been mentioned that don't add extra slides. Only four slides, the first slide for the problem details, the second slide for the idea solution, the architecture, the technology stack. The third slide for the use case, the showstopper dependencies and the final slide for the team members list. This is how it is. Please don't add any other slide. And uh, coming to the next, don't create sophisticated content like a long paragraph or stuff. Make it crisp and simple. The, and it should be aligned to the problem that you're solving because I have seen people who not only solve the problem but add a whole bunch of features that kind of sophisticates the entire solution. So be strong to the core of the solution that you are providing. That is with respect to the idea and uh, solution that you are providing. Then the architecture. The process flow has to be neat and precise. If a person like me who doesn't have any idea of your problem, if he sees the architecture, he needs to know what is the process flow. That is how simple the architecture and how accurate it has to be. Next comes 
the technical stack so you can confirm the technical stack only you have done after you have done a market analysis and a team skill analysis based on that you need to put a proper technology stack so that you can complete the product on time and then comes the use cases what your solution is going to create an impact in which field what it is going to enhance you can add all such points in the use cases then comes the show stoppers and the dependencies and this is a part where there has been a lot of questions because i would have said that uh, when i was analyzing my ppt and i was guiding on it i would have said to add a your best features of the product based on your market research in showstoppers but the thing here is that there are two perspectives of showstoppers one the best features to the upcoming risks why we didn't put risks because we didn't have much of it and we didn't have external dependencies the more the dependencies you have it's not that uh, there are products with no dependency and stuff there will definitely be dependencies and based on that dependencies if you have a potential risk that are coming add it add it as that kind of showstopper that perspective of showstopper and additionally add a mitigation plan like what i mean by a mitigation plan here is if you know the risks and uh, if you have a plan that you can mitigate the risk that is going to boost your presentation and then comes the business model this is where most of the people miss it out because even in the important point you should have written that the ideas which have a business plan will have a additional boost so structure it uh, how you are going to take it to the market make it as a long term goal and that itself will boost you and that is all about the winning ppt and after that comes the registration process in the registration process uh you will be asked for a one page abstract of your product so make it precise that as well and a demo link like it may be a product demo or figma link or whatever stuff if you don't have a product demo there what i would suggest is make a 2 minute video of you explaining the presentation about your product about the solution that you are solving and that will give a boost and that is what we also did we added animated videos in the background because we didn't have a product built by that time and that will boost your presentation and if you follow all this in the winning ppt it's 99% sure that you can get shortlisted into the finale and uh, the cruciality of the idea is important here it's not that only if you follow this you will get uh, uh, shortlisted the solution that you're solving has to be such for the problem during the finale the things that have to be focused is that after you get shortlisted you'll be getting a mail stating that these are the nodal centers this is your team and all the details the t-shirt details the sandy details and everything and most of the teams do a mistake here because after they submit the ppt they leave alone the product until the result comes and that backfires most of the times keep working on the product no matter if the result comes positive or negative keep working on a product and that will keep you more prepared for the finale not only for the finale and for the future plans as well if you are going as an entrepreneur if you are going to deploy your product whatever it is it is definitely going to be helpful have a proper plan of the 36 hours because you are going to have four rounds first round will be the ideation round second will be the prototype round third will be the demo round and the fourth round will be the tie breaker kind of a round the top two teams will be clashing this is how it goes towards the smart india hackathon process and plan each round what you are going to pitch that is very crucial for the just as the product demo is important having a killer presentation and a killer pitch is very crucial and spend time on the presentation as well on how you are going to pitch what are the important points because you are not going to have a whole bunch of time it's going to be just 5 uh, to 8 minutes each round and there you need to show the demo the judges need to question you they need to validate your idea it all will happen in that short span of time so be prepared in uh, that perspective and here comes the important thing you would have prepared with a plan already for the 36 hours and that may backfire at any time right like uh, the requirements would change when you go to the location and you need to be ready for that as well that will definitely be a pressurized situation but having a plan for that can make you handle anything it happened to us as well because our idea was rejected in the first round we had to think for a new idea we had to rebuild in but still we were able to manage it because we had a proper plan of managing the team and getting it accomplished and that's our kind of a secret the consistency the persistence everything is very crucial and then comes the result time you may have won you may have lost the thing here is you never lose here it's always a learner as i always say understand the mistakes what you have done and it will help you learn a lot if we are here standing as the winners of smart india hackathon 2022 we have lost so many hackathons on the back and that has gained us the experience for uh winning it in a dominating way 
Then comes after the hackathon. Most of the ideas stand away as ideas after the smart in the hackathon. You win it or lose it. But that's not how it is. Take it as an entrepreneurial route. Take it as a role model. Take it as a recognition. All this are something that are going to boost you. It is going to boost your morale. It is going to boost your product. It is going to boost your team. So think at a long term goal. Think at a long term scale. The organization itself will be helping you for enhancing the product to the next level. And this is all I would suggest. So you would have thought, okay, I didn't mention the the word of do's and don'ts here these are all the do's and don'ts together before the hackathon during the hackathon and after the hackathon and i think i would have covered most of the points that have been asked in the comments as well and an overview of the entire video series as a do's and don'ts in this video if you have any other clarifications feel free to comment down we are here to help you out i know the deadline is nearing for the idea submission so if you want to send the ppt review to us Feel free to share at our Code Hunters mail, which would be in the description as well. And we are there to help you out. And best of luck to all of you guys once again. Signing off, Gamaliel Das.